Hello friends and welcome back to SDM classes. Today I have taken a topic that will be beneficial for 8th class, 9th class as well as 10th class students and that is how to differentiate between physical and chemical changes and we will learn how to actually learn it in the quickest way. So let's begin with it. As the word is suggesting us physical, chemical, what can we derive from these two words? Physical tells us all those changes in which physical properties of the substances will be changed. So always remember the first point in physical changes will be changes in which the physical properties of the substances are changed. What are physical properties? For example, state, color, volume, density. These are the physical properties. On the other hand, chemical changes are those in which the chemical properties of the substances are changed. Okay, so this is the first point. From the first point, we can derive out the second point. That is, physical change, no effect on chemical bonds of the molecules. Because only physical properties are changing, so there will be no effect on the chemical bonds of the molecules. There will only be rearrangement of the molecules. On the other hand, chemical changes will have direct effect on the chemical bonds of the molecules. Old chemical bonds will be broken and new chemical bonds will be formed. So these two points come out directly from the word physical and chemical. The third difference is taken from the first alphabet of physical P. From P, always remember products. Okay, so products, no new products are formed in chemical change, physical changes, sorry. No new products are formed in physical changes. As I already told you that no effect is taken place on the chemical bonds. So obviously no new products are formed. On the other hand, chemical changes, new products are always formed. Please remember this, new products are always formed. Then from the S alphabet of physical, always remember that physical changes are short term in nature. Another word that can be used for short term is temporary. That is only for a short duration. That can be reversed also. So temporary, physical changes are temporary in nature. On the other hand, just take the opposite of temporary. Chemical changes are permanent in nature. Once they have taken place, the product cannot be converted back into reactants. On the other hand, the next difference between uh, physical and chemical is from the alphabet I. I stands for initial. Initial substances, which is known as reactants, can be regained from products. So reactants can be regained from products. For example, if I convert water into ice, water is reactant, ice is product. If I melt the ice again, I can get the water back. So reactants can be regained back from the products. On the other hand, chemical changes cannot be regained. The reactants that have reacted once and formed a new product cannot give back the reactants again. Then, the next difference comes from the alphabet C of physical. All the physical changes are convertible in nature. Another word for convertible is reversible. So we can say physical changes are reversible as I gave you the example of water and ice. That can be reversed. On the other hand, just opposite of reversible, chemical changes are non-reversible because they are permanent changes as I told you and they cannot be reversed back. Then, the last alphabet that is L in physical, L will remind you of less. So, the point becomes less or no absorption or release of energy. Whenever any physical change takes place, either there is less absorption or release of energy or no absorption or release of energy. Always remember that. So what is the opposite of less? More. Come to chemical changes. In chemical changes, there is always more absorption or release of energy. That tells us that whenever any chemical change takes place, there will definitely be either absorption or release of energy and always more absorption or release of energy as compared to physical changes. Last differences, the examples. Physical changes will always include examples like cutting because that can change the shape of the substance. So changing of shape is a physical property. So cutting, melting, melting can change the shape. 
boiling boiling changes the state of the substances so that is also a physical property and dissolving dissolving also changes the state of the substance so cutting melting boiling and dissolving processes are included in physical changes on the other hand example of chemical changes burning and rusting are always chemical changes because they involve chemical property changes in them burning always produces new products new products and rusting also always produces new products so these are the differences with the help of alphabets you can easily remember the differences between physical and chemical change if you like my video please like subscribe it and please share it thank you so much for watching it